Hey guys, this is Poet Spice here and I am doing just a very short video because I've been asked multiple times, how do I store my dies? And so I thought since I had this case out because I was just working with it, that I would go ahead and do this video. So um, you'll have to forgive if it's not, you know, fancy or whatever because I'm just doing it handheld um, just so I can show you guys what I'm talking about. So as you see, and I should have done this video before too, but I've had more... Um, questions about it. So as you see, it's like the shoebox uh, a shoebox shaped iris case. Okay, and it is. I will show you the front so you can see. I'll put the lid back on so I can show you too. So if you see here, I'll try to focus it for you. It's called the Stack and Pull Built-in Pull Handle for Easy Mobility. Just in case you can't read it. Okay, this is the size. And it usually says a quart amount somewhere too, but I'm not seeing that. So you can see it's by Iris. Um, if you wanted to, you could also use that SKU number. Okay. So I have several of these. And the ones with the teal handle I got from Joanne. So I used a 50% off coupon. And then I have some that are the exact same thing with the black handle, and those I actually got from Pat Tans for a cheaper price than I got this with the coupon. So this is how I store my dies. And then hopefully I'll pan over quickly. Well, not too quickly. But then, as you can see, I've got them stacked up here and here on the bottom, like that. Then of course there's some other craft supplies. Um, some of my dies are in here, but those are dies like these little baskets that from a Dollar Tree, and then I have one over here on my desk. Those I just keep out for things that I'm using like right now or a theme. So if I'm doing a whole bunch of Asian stuff, I'll take that stuff out and put it. Um, pull it back over. So I'll take that stuff out and I'll put like Asian themed stamps, dies, whatever in there. So that's just readily available or birthday theme or something. The one here on my desk or the table, cause it's actually a table. That one, as you can see, it's a thing. It's a basket. That one is usually stuff that I just got in or my card making dies. So back here are crafters companion dies that are create a card and there's some spell binders in there. Um, and in the back, some, you can see an Anna Griffin one sticking up there. So I'll do that. Now let's get back to the iris case. So here's the iris case, the stack and pulls. Um, like I said, I don't know what the quart size is. It says on some of them. And then I just put the lid off. And as you can see, I'll try to get you up a little higher. I just do this. Now I'm gonna turn it around because I actually have them in the other way up from the label. So as you see, I just leave them in the in the packaging until the packaging is, you know, falls apart or whatever. Like that. And then I'll do this with dye. So I'll take a magnetic sheet and I'll put it in one of these like Avery L envelopes. Even though I got it from Amazon, it's not Avery L. Do that, right? And then the way I organize them is by company and or theme. So as you can see, this whole bin is pretty much all tattered lace. Okay. And then within here, I've got like the kitty stuff together. I've got like certain types of flowers and stuff together. If it was a collection, it's together. Um, this was a fairy type thing. Now these, this is also what I do. These are intricate dies, not as intri intricate as tattered lace. Sorry about that. Um, but they also go with the Art Deco theme. So rather than putting them somewhere else and there's just two of them, I put them in here with the Art Deco so that it's all together. So that's how I store my dies, either in the packaging it comes with until it falls apart, and then I'll put them on magnetic sheets inside the sleeve. Um, I have way too many dies. I see people who put the magnetic sheets on their walls and then put dies on there, and that is good if you only have a few dies, but I have way too many. As you can see, 
in here. I have way too many. And this is just one bin. So for example, I started counting them. I have a running total, but just in this bin alone, only half of the bin is 70, 70 die sets. So what's that? A hundred and something die sets in one bin. So there's no way I could do the whole hang them on your wall and so you could see them all because there's not enough wall space in my house for that. <laughs> Right, right. So anyway, this is actually longer than I thought it was going to be, but there you go. You can see that. Now, I do have a couple other storage things, and I can't really take them out because there's stuff piled on them. So I'm going to try to show you down here. So if you can see that bin right there, that's like a file folder plastic bin. Um, and that's where I have like my big tattered lace dies that are too big to fit in anything else. So if I can kind of get you on this side... I know it's kind of dark, but do you see how wide that bin is? So that's for dies that are way too long to do anything else with. Um, I'm going to move you over here. Kind of like do, 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 do. I have two binder, actually I have three binders um, from Tonic. One has Anna Griffin dies in it. The other has um, Ally Express dies in it. And the little one has small tonic dies in it. So since I don't have a lot of either any of those, they fit in two binders. Although my Anna Griffin is about to bust out of there. So I'm probably going to have to get another one. Um, I'm trying to think, is there any other way I start? Okay, let's go back this way. Now, if you can see right there, there's one back there. And there's one right there and over there. I do have some of those, um, what are they, art bin uh, magnetic storage cases. But they get very heavy very quickly. And trying to lift one out is a pain in the butt because you, the, the magnetic sheet is not, it's not flimsy, but it's not as sturdy as it should be for as many dies as you could put on it. So trying to f flip through there. Uh, you end up popping dies off or sliding off. So I stopped using the that system. Um, and basically what I do now is there's two of them where I just dump the dies in there. So like my Gina Marie dies, my diamond dies, where they have that thinner packaging. I just throw that in the packaging in there. Don't even worry about magnetic sheets until the packaging falls off. Then it'll go back in one of these bins. So hopefully that helps and answers some questions for people who were asking. And if I like this system, I really like this iris case system because you can literally just rifle through this way and you can see what you have um i use the same thing for my embossing folders all right thanks for watching i shall see you guys later so if you have any other questions you can leave those down below if there's any type of videos you would like to see you can leave those down below um it's about to be summertime so i'm going to be doing some more tutorials and stuff so if you have particular ones you want to see you can leave that below all right thanks for watching bye